Hi, this is Family Guy doing uh, my first video here on the poor man's version of a suction dredge nozzle. Well, I had some fun making this, but uh, I was pretty pleased. Didn't cost me very much. I ended up happening to, uh, instead of using plumbing materials, using PVC electrical conduit meant for underground stuff. I think this is actually just slightly thicker wall than your standard PVC, but it could be just the same. I'm not sure. It was definitely a lot cheaper. Like for example, this piece right here was was uh, six bucks. Everything together came out to about twenty-seven bucks, including tax, and that was with me buying both male and female because I wasn't sure which one I was going to use for both ends of the, the nozzle. Uh, where to start? I guess uh, my main piece right here and again sorry about the lighting. Stuck in my garage, kids sleeping. I, uh, I drilled a fitting in here and this fitting actually set down here down this fitting actually comes in here and 90s so I might experiment and have to take it out is really hard to get in but I might have to take it out and and perhaps cut the 90s so it's it's just barely directing this way without blocking much area inside the tube I'll see if I can get a shot inside the tube, but I don't think that's going to happen. Nope. Definitely not. Okay, uh, so after I got that pretty straightforward fitting going on, there's actually a rubber o ring on the inside of the pipe, zooming against the pipe actually a really nice fitting it was called a watertight fitting um, as you'd expect and it's actually meant for running electrical wires underground and, and when you need them watertight so that's the beginning of that then I got a simple 90 but unfortunately it wasn't 90 well, it was 90 but I need more than 90 so I had to take my heat gun, as you can see, the discoloring. And in the beginning, I was hitting the bottom, and that was causing some nasty wrinkles, even though I was trying to use my pliers to stop it from bubbling. But as I got along there, I did about six or seven stripes. I uh, figured out just to heat the top three quarters of the pipe and then only the top half would stretch and mostly only heating the top and a little bit on the sides and then it comes out a little nicer so <clears throat> I also I did figure out a way to do this with fittings but it was going to end up it was just going to end up being way too far away from here with all the fittings and I was only off by a little bit so I actually just took the heat gun warmed up the end and jammed the fitting in and then cooled it under cold water as I did with all of these since I got it the shape I wanted I'd quickly cool it under water then this fits in here snug now all this is going to get glued when I'm finally done. I thought I'd make a video before I glue it, give people a chance to give me suggestions, whatnot. So that's the beginning of that nozzle. Then some simple adapters here. Step it up. And then, um, again, my choice of either male or female looks more dramatic.
Mac with a hole on there. So there's that one. And then the same thing with the other side. I got both male and female. Yes, I'm a poor cameraman. This is definitely my first YouTube video. And we have our fitting that goes on the end. So I'll try and give you a better look here after it's all done. But I'm hoping that's going to do the trick. Might have to experiment a little bit. Hope you like that. $25 poor man's dredge nozzle.